Hi everyone, Matey here. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick, quick little video to show you how to um, do hair selection from a green screen. All right, it's pretty simple. The way I do it is I choose the background eraser, which hides in over here with all the other eraser tools. All right, so in the center of this tool. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little little um, plus sign. So whatever that plus sign touches, it'll delete that colour. So if I put it on a face, it's going to delete whatever that's touching. So all on the hair there. All right. So you can see that. All right. But because I've got green, and uh, typically there's no green anywhere in the subjects that you want to keep. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this brush as large as it'll go. I'm going to sample just the green piece on one side of her head and on the other. All right. It's as simple as that. That's done most of the work for us. Um, I'll just pop a layer in behind her so we can see. Normally you, you get um, some colours bleeding into the hair. And I'll show you how to deal with that now. All right. So I'll just put a, a white, white base behind her. Now if I zoom in, you can see there's still green in the hair there. We place a layer above her and we make a clipping mask out of that layer. So you can hold your um, your Alt key down and hold your, uh, hold your mouse in between the two layers and you get that little box with an arrow. Or you can right right click on that layer and choose clipping mask from the from the pop-up box. Now this layer here, we changed the, the layer style from normal to hue. All right, see hue there? Sample the hair color. You get a brush and with the opacity and flow at 100%. And I try to avoid the skin a bit, but we just paint over the hair where it's green. Let me zoom in so you can see see that. So if I paint over the skin, it will decolor the skin only a little bit, but um, just try to avoid the skin if you can. There you have it. Alright, thanks for watching.